Hi everybody, it's great to be back. I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and these are the cards that I'll be using this week. The Transparent Tarot and the Everyday Witch because of the Halloween theme that I'm busy with and because of the Witches series. I hope you are enjoying the Witches series. It is not talking about the Witches um, altogether it is about the environment about what's going on today in in the in general and also we'll be doing um, recipes and we'll, uh, on budget cooking and health that is where the what we are doing in the witches series and if you would like to get into it yourself then these are the two books this one is The Workplace and Spells by Marla Brooks. We did the series on her oracle card, the Witch's Oracle Cards. And this one is by TJ Perkins, The Healthy Witch. And it's great fun. Georgina and I are having great fun and laughs. And she's bringing also things from the outside, from other cultures, other beliefs, other things that she does. And I basically do... Um, the healing side with the tarot and Reiki and meditation. She does meditation as well, but where it, it's it's really um, something that you can sit down, grab a cuppa, and sit in peace and just listen to the conversation. And if you buy the books yourself, then you can bring yourself back into the strength as well. But it's also great fun to exchange this with somebody else and we'll be starting um, the workshops in Georgina and I um, in January so if you would like to join um, uh, in with the workshop it will be 150 euros um, for m maximum of 10 to 11 uh, episodes um, that's how long and it will be once a week and we'll get together um, in Zoom. I think that's the best option. You can switch your camera off and listen or interact by just talking. So I'm looking forward to that but this month it's an exciting month because I'll be making something um, uh, creatively and also something that you can eat. So I'm combining two things made out of one so keep your eyes peeled for that video which is coming up uh, which I will be making will also have uh, a person coming in doing reflexology uh, on the face or the hands and we also will hopefully will have Jan in to do her video on the gemstones so I hope you will follow the um, Witches series uh, because we discuss colors of the candles there, uh, oils, um, fragrances, incense, etc. etc. It's absolutely lovely, and um, you most probably have already seen the video on the candles, making candles at home or buying them scented and colored, and we go into discussion about that as well. That is with Tracy uh, Castledine. Go and have a look on her Facebook uh, Facebook page, um, uh, Love Lizzie. Uh, so go and have a look. But I hope you will enjoy this video for you for your for yourself, of course, this week, because this reading is going to be from the fifth of October to the eleventh, and time does fly. And please click on the uh, the bell, subscribe, and click on the bell on all then you be notified when I go live um, or when new videos are loaded up. I'm so busy with making this series that I sometimes get really exhausted and can't make the um, uh, Friday night live so I'm sorry uh, for last night I didn't go live but I will be going live tonight so I hope you will join me there take care and in and have a lovely week and also there's a video um, under updates uh, for setting your settings after you've subscribed and hit that bell 
then you will be notified. Otherwise, you won't be notified. Okay, take care, God bless, and stay safe. And please give me the thumbs up. Ciao, ciao. Hi, Aries. This is your reading. And I'm Shah. How are you? Um, your cards are the Five of Wands. Okay, the Five of Wands means for most readers um, disputes, arguments, disagreements um, that are short lived. But for me, the Five of Wands means could also mean competition. And I think you might have been in a competition or you're in a competition right now. But you will have victory because you've got the chariot. And the chariot means victory, recognition, being the champion, moving onwards and upwards. There could be promotions. And you might go a further afield. That is what I'm feeling here. You are going places. Uh, because you are determined to get to your goal. And I think you've nearly reached your goal. But also think that you need advice. You might seek advice from a professional person or a mature man since you've got the Emperor. This is the chariot. So that also means you might be going on holiday or moving home. Um, if you are moving home or if you are expanding in any way or, or, or moving on to something bigger because you you are the champion champion and you do have victory you might be wanting to move to a city ah could be moving from the countryside into the city or vice versa but i think you want to be in the center of attention uh, in the busy sort of way of life i think you might want to start up setting shop or something or a business in the city so you will have uh, you'll need advice this could be from a real estate agent a lawyer an advocate anybody that is uh, uh, works with judicial uh, institutions or uh, judi judicial uh, background so you might seek advice but you could also be seeking advice like i said from a mature man this could be your father or a mature man that you respect okay I also feel that some of you that have a business in the city might actually be expanding um, uh, cyber-wise internet because look at all the space in the, the sky. You've got the skyline and that's where I get the idea you might be expanding your business on internet so that you will have victory and beat the competition. You have best of both worlds. You could be meeting a Cancer or an Aries as this represents Cancer and this Aries. I And this is your reading Aries so uh, you might be meeting another Aries or a, ca um, um, an, uh, a Cancer and you might be joining partnerships because you've got the two here. You might be looking at different ways at things and that will bring you success as well in your business. Um, bringing the shadow side and the light side and bringing in the balance. Wow. Um, best of both worlds. That is what I'm hearing. Best of both worlds. Now I've been sitting here shaking the cards whilst I've been talking to you and this one is sticking out. You have the Three of Swords. Okay. Now, the Three of Swords means losing something. You could lose a person or you could uh, have lost something. You could have lost business in the past um, or you could have lost a pet or something like that. But I think because it's lying on the dark side of, of the, the horses, I think you're losing your dark side or your dark mood. You have lost that dark mood. You're ready for this new beginning. This beautiful victory has made you want to get on and do things your way. Okay. And we've got the scythe here that's jumped out. Look at this. So, like I said, you want to move on. 
you might have felt dark and depressed and now you're seeing the light to this new beginning you are the champion you've got recognition you could be meeting a Scorpio okay you could be doing business with a Scorpio um, um, you might lose uh, even you might be just starting for yourself you might have been in a partnership and lost this partnership um, as the three of swords means losing something you might have broken free and gone your own separate ways look at the horses they're going the separate ways this one is looking at the competition and that could have been you you're, you're the one that's got the victory so they might not like this competition this partnership and this competition in the partnership so you've cut away from this uh, argument argument uh, arg argumentative um, situation there were too many disagreements the dark side and the black side nothing was in balance because you were looking at the separate ways and you are moving on you are looking to go into the city and expand you're no longer the caterpillar you're the butterfly you are spreading your wings big time now it, you know it, I sometimes I shake the cards and sometimes I don't shake the cards uh, on video um, ooh, that was a bit too many okay well I'm just doing it one more time and let's see what we get from oh no sorry dropped them all well I dropped all my cards and I've picked them up there should be a reason for that and I always believe I don't believe in coincidences look what came out the king of pentacles <laughs> and that's your last card you are going this is such a beautiful re positive reading look at this you're going onwards you're you're spreading your wings like I said you're no longer the caterpillar the death card means a new beginning and your new beginning is going to bring in money for long term this is something that you're doing is durable and is for long term you have been working hard and you've got victory because this is you look at this you are looking at the competition your competition has kept you on your toes you've gone your own way forwards and upwards and it's bringing in the money you're on your own you've got the meatiest touch you might be meeting a Taurus as well you might be doing business or breaking loose from a Taurus okay you are going your own way and remember this is a general reading so it looks more like a business reading or work related career related uh, reading and then um, um, uh, uh, a love reading okay so I don't I don't think this doesn't feel like a love reading so I don't think any of you will be breaking away um, you might stay um, within the relationship you will be going your own way be careful okay keep the communication going and maintain that victory don't worry about competition because true love will stay here but I think you are going to start something new so in to enhance this relationship that you have with your partner if you're hooked up um, I think you're going to do your own thing you're going to start up something new um, but you're going to keep it separate from your uh, your love life like uh, they will be going to their job and you will be going to your job or your own business I think you might you might even break away from family business that is what I'm hearing okay that is what I'm hearing you might be breaking away from a family business and you might be starting up on your own now I'm going to use the uh, everyday uh, witch just to get the feeling of the the, the theme or the uh, um, the overall catalytic card that's it or the theme card and you have the knight of swords 
you could be getting news from uh, somebody that could be a Gemini it could be uh, um, Libra or it could also be an Aquarius Aries um, you might even get an invitation or offic official news from one of these people but it will be news for mostly okay this could come through cyber like a, a text message or um, a telephone call or a uh, airmail okay or an email yep that is great stuff this could also be official news because it is swords so perhaps you've been waiting for official news from your lawyer if you are or an, an estate agent so yeah the swords means officiality could be if you've been waiting to go to study uh, a new uh, course or you want to start a new study you might be uh, hearing from the institution that uh, you can start studying now okay and we have at home on the inside you feel comfortable you are feeling good you're right in the in your skin this is the opposite to the five of pentacles well with this reading competition winning being the champion having new stance perhaps a new study or work or a job or a uh, hobby turning into a job you've done your research like the king of pentacles and it's going to be massive there's going to be a good new beginning and you feeling at home at this moment especially inside emotionally inside you is a flame of light that remains unwavering yes definitely you are steady you've got both feet on the ground unwavering during life's challenges and experiences the silently reassuring witness meets you each time you settle into yourself a step through the passage between breaths there you are met with your wise soul self that could be also um, the chariot you, you have met your dark side your fears your shadow side okay you've come through a long way okay you've met your wise self soul self it takes hold of each challenge and uses it as fuel for you your spiritual growth rest in the safety of this serenity do away with stabbing small memories that starve you of your faultlessness feel the all-encompassing love that flows through your soul into your heart with its life affirming rays there you go and that is tangible that is there uh, for a long term that is what it means this card so you feel at home within yourself you are at the place of where you want to be in middle in the center of your dark and light sides of yourself you have matured enormously you've grown you are feeling great look at the Sun rising okay on a new beginning Wow I love this reading take care um, Aries I hope you have a beautiful week ciao ciao please like and share thank you be blessed Thank you.